everyone, welcome in to Vlogtober slash Crochettober day 25. Oh my gosh, the month is almost over and I still haven't made it to Mad World. Yeah, I've got my tickets to the Haunted Attraction. Hopefully we can go this weekend. Things have just been crazy and it's finally cooling off enough where yeah, maybe I can tolerate going. We'll try to keep Skeleton here from taking the cardi off. Um, working on some things, work mostly. And now that I'm out of work, done for the day, um, you're getting a no makeup Vlogtober entry. So there you go. This is the start of my pink pumpkin. I promise I will get there and make a video about it and tag some folks. So just beware about that. Um, just winging it. So hopefully it'll end up looking kind of like a pumpkin. We'll see. <laughs> and my crochet tober blanket. Um, actually working on it right now. I got I got sort of a lot done during lunch. I get an hour lunch break and now that the blanket is getting really big, it's taken me a while to get around the thing. Um, Cause I'm not that fast, let's see. I am though, oh gosh, yeah, I'm on the fourth side. Hey, go me, proud of myself. Look at this guys, this is what I had before. Had some purple there and I am adding teal this is uh it actually reads a little more green in person but it's a teal color and it's a big twist value love it had it up on my stash and i'm like you know what that will look really cool in this blanket and it does so do you do anything special on halloween for me <clears throat> the thing that we used to do was well we don't, i mean i'm very rural we don't have neighbors to speak of and even if we did, they're not walking up and doing trick or treating. Okay, they're they're hiking a good long ways. Um, but at work, when we worked in the office, we used to have to wear for Halloween each of the teams that we were in office buildings, plural, at one location. And every team would decorate, and there'd be a contest about decorating for Halloween. And you would host Halloween for the kids. Not just like neighborhood kids, but these were all family and or very close friends of the people who work there. That to me was an absolute highlight. You know, I don't have kids, never wanted kids, don't have the desire to have kids. And that's just me. And I know a lot of the people on my uh, <laughs> friends list here and who are my YouTube Yarny friends, they have kids or grandkids and stuff. And that's great. It just wasn't for me. But... That once a year time, seeing all the kids dressed up and them coming around, that was really kind of fun because everybody gets to be kind of a kid during Halloween. So yeah, it was fun to decorate and dress up because we all dressed up too, or most of us did anyway. And I always prepped goodie bags for the kids that came through and for some parents too, if they wanted them, because it would be like a bunch of different candy, maybe a little toy or, you know, little things you know just Halloween type things and I would usually make about 300 of them or so and they would all disappear and we had a lot of people come through for our little you know office building uh, <laughs> for that but that is one thing that I did look forward to working in the office now do I want to go back to the office office and not work from home so that I can do that no your girl ain't that crazy come on working from home has been the best thing that has happened to me as far as work goes. So yeah, I'll stick with that. Um, I'm going to keep on working on my blanket. Going to get around the rest of this way. Oh, and also all of my ends are woven in except for what I do today. I did catch up with that. Go me. Patting myself on the back for that one. I also still need to finish up. Well, I try to get the next uh, main color in the next two rows that I have to do for the pick and mix cow for Lisa Ladybird Loves Cow. I uh, need to finish that up. And by finish that up, I mean start working at the main color again because I haven't gotten a chance to. But I did finish up this week's stitch and I really liked it. I actually ended up doing eight rows of it. Mm, go figure. So, yeah. What do you do for Halloween? If anything, or what did you do? Did you have any bits and bobs that you enjoyed? I love going to Mad World, the haunted attraction. So much fun. I am looking forward to it. I will be tired as anything afterwards because it's a really long haunted trail and I'll just be up on my feet for hours 
and it'll be a blast. But uh, I hope that you are having a good Monday because it has been a Monday, let me tell you. But other than that, we're just hooking along. <laughs> See you very soon. Check the description for more information. Bye, y'all.